mostly plays Sonic. Oh, and, okay. Okay, Castar Man going to be playing a Pichu. Oh, very nice. We haven't seen Pichus in a while. All right, and yep, we are going to be seeing the Sonic. So Sonic versus Pichu. Yeah, very interesting matchup. Three, two, Definitely Pichu could keep up with Sonic's activity and speed and obviously using their... <laughs> All right. All right, just raw dash tech saying, hello, wake up, it's time to go. Yeah, kind of a, a matchup check. And I do believe that is, uh, yeah, it's Steven on the Sonic. Okay, right, right. But yeah, kind of just a neutral check. Like, how how patient are you willing to be in this neutral? And that's, you know, something that's going to be so important against a, against a Sonic. And especially as a Pichu player, because, like, you're not going to have many opportunities to make mistakes as a Pichu. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, Steven just coming back into center stage. Not really hitting too hard just yet. Right, nice back air out of shield right there. Trying to put... Steven in a worse position, but now uh, Sonic gets the chance to edge guard, which is where he really excels, and yeah. especially both edge guarding and ledge trapping. Yeah, absolutely. The use of the spring from the up B, getting able to catch the recoveries from Pichu, and then also just being able that that F smash comes out so quick from Sonic. So to you know to pick up the the neutral get up or you know read a roll in, it's going to be very useful in the matchup for sure. Yeah, and of course Sonic does have that burst speed, so he's going to be able to cover a wider range than most would be able to. Looking for a two frame right there, not quite finding it, and Pichu living to 140. Oh, what magnet hands, and also what a tech from Steven. Yeah, that was super impressive to see. But now we're in an interesting situation. Pichu holding advantage. Death tail? Oh, okay. Almost, almost. Ooh, I'm actually surprised Steven didn't go for a grab there after that. F tail looking for a grab right there, but Castar Man finding one of his own after the drag down. Great air dodge to avoid the thunder. And F tail is going to be all it takes for Steven to now take a stock lead. Uh, two minutes in to our game one right now. But a Nair is going to be all it takes for Castar Man to bring us right back to even. These conversions by Pichu are always something to marvel at. It's so cool to, to see that Pichu could still get those now in mm -hmm. this state of the game. You would think that it would just continue to be tough for them, but still able to get it done. All right, Steven committing a little bit too early to that F tilt. And Luckily, not uh, drifting into that fully charged F smash. Yeah, that got really scary really quick. Oh, Ooh. good jab reset. Oh, it still Did, worked yeah. anyway. We got the triple jabs in there. Did one too many, but, you know, that's just extra credit right there. Yeah, Pichu boxing out here. Love to see it. Now Steven at a fairly decent disadvantage. You know, obviously it's Pichu. Pichu's going to be dying to most things pretty soon, but... Castar Man has found his footing in this neutral right now. And yeah. He's just running all over Steven. Absolutely. Eats a back air there, but yeah, definitely Castor Man's getting... What good. an anti-air down smash. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was super smart. But the usage of T-Jolt by Castor Man is coming, coming through really nicely right now. Oh, good catch there by Steven. Yep, and I think Steven is absolutely going to need to, you know, clean up that neutral a little bit, but... Also gets uh, two framed by the down smash. That's going to be game one. So I think what Steven is going to need to do is find more angles to approach in this neutral. Because especially mm. we saw, uh, I think it was in like in Steven's second stock, Castor Man was really starting to find his footing, especially with those T-jolts. You know, basically the Akuma fireballs. <laughs> and they were just eating up so much of the neutral. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right there. That was a great B-reverse T-jolt. How many jabs did we Two? get? Two? And one more a for three? good measure. Yeah, it caught Steven mashing a little bit. Yeah. Tried to get the grab there, but was just facing the wrong direction, and Pichu took full advantage. And this two-frame down smash was, that was really well-timed. Yeah. Oh. Pichu's yeah, I think that, yeah, that was a two-frame. You saw Sonic kind of extend his hand upward a little. Yep. Please. Pichu looked angry in that freeze frame, my word. That was a wrathful rat. All right, keeping to, all right, we're keeping a little cannon here. Pichu bringing it 
over to Kalos. Or I'm sorry, Casterman bringing it over to Kalos. Oh, this is uh, oh, Steven's counterpick. Oh, right, Steven's counterpick. Interesting. Yeah, why, do, why do you think Steven went for this stage? Oh, Kalos is a great Sonic stage. Yeah. Uh, do Sonic you play gets... Sonic yourself? Uh, I, I played a little bit, but not, not particularly. I but... thought perhaps with the Sonic t-shirt, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, oh, nice. Hell. <laughs> Sonic is a tad notorious here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, Kalos is an, an amazing stage for Sonic. He's going to get, you know, so many, so much room to run around. And mm. especially with the side platforms, going to be giving him a lot more height with which to, you know, spin dash and get more angles. Like, you know, like I was saying at the end of game one. Right, but right now, 122 on Steven. Bill has to find has to find something. I think that's actually the first homing attack that we've seen this entire set, and it got Steven killed. That was a fantastic read there by Casterman. Using the up throw and then converting with the thunder. You love to see it. Yeah, and what a weave in and out from Castarman. Looking to get an early kill right there. That absolutely would have killed. Yeah, I was just about to make a comment on that. Casterman's movement seems to be very thought out and methodical, and it just seems like Steven just can't get their footing quite yet. Sonic is super quick, has a lot of mobility, but for some reason it's just still having a little bit of difficulty trying to find those stray hits and those uh, those conversions. All right, looking to get a back air off of the platform there, but Castarman not biting, not able to get anything out of that back air. Looking for some shield pressure, which is nice. Oh, good down smash down there. Smash, that is going to be doing it. Castor Man now sitting at three stocks to Steven's one. Tried to get kind of a hopeful Nair out of that spring, but a well timed F tilt finally putting Steven on the board. Now, yeah. I would feel like with. You know, with any, I feel like with most characters, you could be very confident with a one stock lead, but with Pichu, just being so light and tacking on damage there on, on themselves, of course, right, with the use of any electric attacks, it's going to be interesting to see if Steven can make this comeback, and it's very doable. But it's going to be tough when you have Casterman just converting those Pichu hits right there. Yeah, and I think, oh, just barely living there, not going to be living that one with so much charge. Oh, my word. Great stuff from Steven. Now, you know, really keeping this competitive. Yeah, that F smash coming in clutch. And like we were saying earlier, that move by, from Sonic is just incredible. It is tough to deal silly. with. Silly. Yeah. Good All grab right, the, here. Yeah, the T Jolt putting Steven in some shield pressure. Cast Man able to get the grab out of it. And yeah, once again, even without shielding, able to get the T Jolt into grab. Oh, catches jump. the jump out of the out of the ledge, and that's going to be Castar Man taking it over Steven. Steven really started to get some momentum there. Mm, yeah, absolutely. In uh, in the second stock, it yeah. it really felt like he was starting to catch on what was necessary in this game mm -hmm. because while Sonic does have a, a frankly amazing neutral, Castar Man I think was playing it a lot more consciously. And so even though Pichu is incredibly light, Sonic kind of struggles sometimes to kill Raw. He really mm. needs an edge guard or a ledge trapping scenario. And I think that's actually where Steven found most of his stocks. We saw a lot of like F tilts at ledge. Here we saw two F smashes at ledge. Yeah, that was just mean. Big <laughs> fist. He like Size of Pichu's head, my word. <laughs> Come on now, that's not fair. <laughs> One more for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> I never oh. noticed that effect. Now Pikachu has like the instant transmission, like vertical lines effect. Right. Yeah. Goodbye, Pichu there. Oh, but then that last stock was the was the end of the match, right? The um the back air, the catch from Yeah, yep. there it is. I'm jumping from ledge. Yeah, very nice. Nicely done by Casterman to clean that up 2-0. Best of luck to them in the rest of the bracket.